Okay, so I'm gonna give you a warning. This might be the first of a few uh, AMG videos on our channel. And we decided to start with something subtle, at least in TDH standards, because this is a stage one plus tune, but it is in a very unsubtle body. This is a GLE 43 AMG with a V6 twin turbo that it is in a body that could basically intimidate a mafia boss. the looks of the GLE, menacing would be the perfect word to describe it because it's big, wide and very very mean. All of the curves are very muscular and everywhere you see, everyone just loves to look at the car and quickly take your phone out and take a picture because it just looks so mean. And to be honest, it doesn't look that big in the frame, but it is huge. It's very wide and you can feel it when you drive it too. When it comes to the backside, you've got this coupe style SUV back end, which I mean, some people love it, some people hate it. Do let us know in the comments below what you think about it. But overall, in my opinion, I think this looks bad ass. Now, some things to mention is that this isn't the latest and greatest GLE AMG you can buy. This is in fact a couple of generations old now and I think a facelift and a brand new GLE has come after that. There are some things about the 43 AMG that make it distinct from a normal GLE. First off is the distinct AMG grille. The rear bumper has what it looks like a quad tip setup but it is actually just a housing for dual tips. And then the bumper which actually has a lot of fake vents. Surprising. Now step into the GLE and you can notice how roomy the place is because it's a behemoth. Plus uh, you've got quite a lot of cubby holes which is the first thing I noticed. You've got a cubby hole here which is huge. Uh, cubby hole right in front. Uh, you've got two cup holders over here which are heated and cooled. You've got an ashtray. You can't see the gear lever because it's basically not here. You've got the toggle for the MBUX uh, controls and you've got the car's mode selector. You've got a huge cubby hole over here that has two ports and you can charge your phone in it plus it's got Apple CarPlay so you're gonna be always connected. The seat feels really comfortable, your backrest is really comfy and you've also got really tight bolsters which are very good for corners but the only problem is that I'm 5'10", 5'11", max but I've got my thighs flailing around and I don't think that that's okay in a 1 crore rupee car I should at least have a little thigh support but that's my problem. In terms of gear selector, it's here in the indicate where the indicator or the windshield wiper should be, but it's not. And that's a little counterintuitive for someone who doesn't drive a Mercedes. I've seen myself uh, putting it into drive or neutral uh, while trying to do something else. And I mean, I'm pretty sure you could get comfortable with it once you get used to driving it. So in the back, you'd expect it to be a bit more cramped up, but in fact, it's actually very comfortable. You've got quite a lot of room on top of your head and you've got a lot of room next to your uh, knees. So it's very comfortable. The only thing is there is no thigh support again and it's quite upright. Underneath the hood, this being the 43 AMG, it packs a 3-litre bi-turbo V6. Not really a proper AMG motor, it is more of something on the lines of made by Mercedes and the chili flakes on top are added by AMG. And well, it is a spicy little motor. Stock, it produces around 385 bhp and 520 newton meters of torque. But this particular car has been fiddled by eTuners India, so it is running a stage 1 remap with pops and crackles. So now it's pushing somewhere along the lines of 420 bhp and 620 newton meters of torque. Pair that to a pretty slick 9-speed auto gearbox and a 4-matic all-wheel drive system, this 2.2-ton Mercedes SUV can go from 0 to 100 km an hour in around 4.5 seconds. Now driving it in the city of Hyderabad, it's 
where I am right now, it has quite a lot of narrow lanes and that's exactly where you feel the dimensions of this huge barge that it is because even though it looks like a coupe it is a really big car and it is a very wide car but when you when it actually comes to driving it the steering feels really nice it feels quite light at least in so slow speed but one thing that i don't like about it is that it's quite numb so the feedback out of it is not that good in terms of a uh, response from the throttle pedal it is quite responsive especially with this tune it is quite a, quite an aggressive tune as well so it is pushing quite a lot more power and it feels a bit more sensitive to the throttle when it comes to the engine the bite v6 does a really good job at giving you all of the oomph really early in the rev range plus its response is really really electric and the four wheel drive system gives you a lot of confidence to weave through the corners it stays very planted even though you are actually at the edge of grip it feels really good and the only discrepancy that i would have towards the engine is the transmission it's mated to this 9 speed uh, transmission is slightly unresponsive and in slow speed it is quite jerky but it's a small price to pay for the snappiness that you get on the top of the rev range because this car revs up to like 6500 rpm and over there when you put it on manual and you have control of it completely the pedals feel so responsive all the way down and all the way up so even though it is a big barge that looks like dark vaders daily it drives like one and people do move aside which could be a plus point for you but i'm going to just drive it relax and show the people what it is Now the GLE 43 AMG isn't really a car most enthusiasts will be attracted towards. It is more of a luxury car with a nice engine rather than a full out sports car. Yes, there is tuning potential in the 3 liter bi-turbo V6, but you're better off with anything else from its competitors. Competitors with an asterisk cuz no one from BMW or Audi sells a GLE 43 AMG type SUV in India. The same engine can be found in the C43 AMG and well in terms of an enthusiast car the M340i trumps both the Audi S5 and the C43 AMG by a mile but this isn't to say that the GLE 43 AMG isn't a cool car it is a great mixture for the streets of india loads of ground clearance for the horrid roads an engine that sounds great and packs a decent punch and it's a super comfy interior thank you so much for watching like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace